Hello class, today we will be drawing a chick in an egg. A chicken, a baby chicken hatching out of an egg. The first thing that we need to do is draw the shapes that hold the egg shape. So first watch me draw the whole picture by myself and then you can draw yours after, or you can draw yours at the same time. Here we go. First, I'm drawing a letter U shape. Did you draw your letter U shape yet? Then, I'm drawing a zigzag line to show that the egg is broken. Then I'm going to draw a letter U at the top. Upside down letter U for the baby chicken. I'm going to give him a little bit of feathers right here. And then I'm going to continue drawing my baby chicken down. Did you see that? Did you draw your egg with zigzag lines? Did you draw your baby chicken with feathers pointing up on his head and down? Then after that, it's time to draw its face. So for the baby chicken's face, let's draw Oh, we can also draw some more, um, some wings around here. I forgot about that. I'm watching the video on how to draw this exactly at the same time that I'm making a video. So I looked at all the best videos and now we're, we're making the best design possible. Those are wings coming out. Your baby chick's arms are reaching out. Draw those. Then draw eyes that are oval. Then draw a diamond shaped nose. Then put circles on top of the ovals. Those are going to be, that can be the black part of its eye there. Now it's time for us to color our chick. Please take out yellow and orange. First, we're going to use yellow. To color in our chick. Remember that you can color darker yellow by adding more layers. I'm coloring dark yellow around the edges. Don't bump into the black because you don't want your chick to look messy. One coat of yellow is nice and light. Don't bump into his eyes. Outline everything first so that you don't bump into it. Coloring in our baby chicken. Hatching, new life, new life hatching that symbolizes springtime when things are just beginning.
Now let's color his nose orange. His beak. And that's it. You have your springtime chick. So you can write the word baby chick. Or springtime chick. Spring, they call them spring chicken. So let's, uh, let's spell springtime chick. S-P-R-I-N-G. Time. T-I-M-E. Chick. C-H-I-C-K. Springtime chick. And there you have it, your springtime chick. When you're finished, you can write your name on the back of your paper or really small at the top or the bottom if you have space. And thank you. When you're finished, you can make another one or you can just be ready to share or you can make other holiday. You can use free art time today to make other holiday or springtime celebration drawings. When it's your time to share, you can share all of the drawings that you made. If you're ready to share, raise your hand and zoom now. You'll get five points for having a perfect springtime chick picture. Thank you.